Good morning guys, welcome to Monday. It is Monday, this weekend flew past. Last weekend, it was Saturday and I thought it was Sunday and it seemed to last forever the weekend. This last weekend was so fast, we had so much fun and I wanna show you some of the things that I did off camera when we weren't with you guys. So you guys know that I am planning on getting a puppy so I created a couple things. So first of all, I made this little tiny dog sweater and then I made this little tiny dog toque with a little pom-pom on the top I think it's really cute I love it it's to match that but then I made this little tiny bow and I attached it to an elastic so if the dog I get has hair I can put it up put it on Ruby yesterday and she looked so cute with it so there's that so that is one entire little outfit I made then I basically just repeated it in a little bit bigger size and in a darker color and I changed the style on the bottom down here. I made like a little cutout for the belly and made the back longer. And then I made a little bow to match that and put it on an elastic. I'm gonna get something to straighten out my bows because they're a little bit flimsy and keep folding over. And that's annoying, I want them to stand up. I think I know what I can use. Anyway, so I made those for my new puppy. Somebody asked me today, why the heck are you making stuff and preparing for your dog pen when you don't even have a dog yet? And it's because I'm preparing. I'm like somebody who has to like, some in some things I have to prepare and I have to plan, I have to think things through. You guys know when we moved here, we had three chihuahuas. We got our little chihuahuas when the girls were really, really little. So obviously the girls are getting up in age and the chihuahuas were getting up in age and they, two of them died in the last few years, a couple years apart, I think. And then Where's the bogo you made? we had a little boy, Toby, and he was a special needs rescue puppy. And he was perfect for us in our old life when we lived in town. We didn't go very many places. I could take him everywhere, but he's definitely not suited for farm life. It was really hard on him. In fact, being on a farm was not our chihuahua's idea of a fun time. Like who would have ever thought that there'd be any dog breed out there in the whole entire world that wouldn't love to live on a farm, but Daisy. they, Daisy. they did not love it. So um toby we rehomed because he was really struggling the other two were okay they were older they weren't like stressed out they weren't they didn't mind living here they just didn't couldn't keep up with our lifestyle because our lifestyle had changed so much but toby on the other hand he was really struggling and when my friend offered to take him because she had the same kind of setup that we had before we moved here and would be perfect for him i agree so uh, me being able to set things up and prepare enables me to like think things out. I know that for me to, I, my heart is on a tiny little dog. All of our dogs, our little dogs were really, really little. One of them was five pounds and she did the best on our farm. And even though I really like the tiny ones, I know for it to be successful here and for it to work out for us as a family, she needs to be bigger. So I'm trying to find, figure out exactly what breed. <laughs> Like, this is boring. I'm trying to figure out what breed is the perfect breed for us. Ideally, it'll be under 10 pounds, but it will be like five pounds at least full grown. Stop looking at me. Oh. <laughs> They're small. Look, it doesn't fit on Daisy. I know. So if I want to have a dog with bows, put it on Ruby. If I want to have a dog with bows, then I'm going to have to get something stay. with fur and hair. Like, stay. I'm trying to figure out all stay, the things. Ruby. Ruby. I, Excited. I want to have what I want, but I want it to work out. So Stay I have still. to be really careful about what I th no. what dog I get. No. Stop. Elsa's dogs are way better to put these on. Okay, call her. Sit. Sit. Look. <laughs> Ruby, sit. <laughs> Did it stay on? Yeah. Wow, Ruby. <laughs> she, like it, huh? she hates it. <laughs> Hold on. This is a good one. It doesn't come off. She shook and shook and shook. Here. Molly, come here. It's okay. You don't have to wear them. Stay. So that's the other Stay. thing too. Like if I get a dog with lots of hair, it might, the best at listening. it might not even like bows. Go. Molly. <laughs> Sign language and verbal commands. Stay, Molly. Don't shake your head. Don't shake it off. Wait. Look at Ro Ma Ruby's traumatized. Aww. See, she looks cute in pink bows. Yeah. So, I definitely want a dog that I can mother and baby and I carry around. Off and she but it has to be horse friendly too. One that can run and be outside with us when we're outside. Done. Aww. 
put it in her in front of her forehead. Hold on. Hold on. Daisy, where are you going? <laughs> she said she's like, I don't really like it. Molly, come here. Oh yeah, Daisy got a lot taller, huh? <laughs> oh look at her eyeballs. No, she's gonna kill me. <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen her have eyeballs like that before. <laughs> <laughs> Take it off! Just wait, Gabby, look at your dog! Gabby! <laughs> it's clear to say that our big dogs are not bow dogs. Come here. Sit. She won't give me her head now. Look at Daisy's jealous. She wants it. There. Let's see. It's better on Molly because she actually has Aww. She's like, take it off now. Hey, but Molly was so funny. <laughs> Molly was so she funny. Was just like, Molly's never coming back. <laughs> you want to try it? Anyway, Ruby has an appointment to get her hair cut. You know, I don't think you should. I think she goes next week. Next week. So my whole plan is that if I get a puppy, all the things that I've made will fit her. And if I don't get a puppy, because I don't know what I'm getting. I found like a couple of really tiny little dogs that really are pulling at my heart. But like I said, it's Wait, not going to work for us on a farm. It just won't work. Can I make one of these for this? I probably could make one of those hats for, for a big dog. Why are you? Come here. Sit. Stay. She would look so cute. <laughs> it would look so cute. If it was big enough. Okay, 20 okay. minutes later, and I m made a hat for Daisy. Sophie asked me if I'd make her one. Now she's going to make a sweater for Daisy. Right, now, she's, now she's like, can I have okay, a sweater? All right. <laughs> We're going to take photos of her tomorrow. Look. I just want to take a picture of you. I'm not great at pom poms, but look at oh, she's happy with it on. I don't think she realizes that it's there. <laughs> all right, our dogs do not like hats. It's official. Mom? We put it on all three of them, and literally they just tried to take it off right away. <laughs> she's, Wear a hat. she's like, I'll I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I she, won't wear it. She tries. <laughs> Let's see if I can put it on her. It's adorable, though. <laughs> I can't put her ear through the ear hole. Help! <laughs> don't, don't put it on her. Okay, so Gabby got this for Christmas. What's it called? 3D pen. 3D pen. She got it for Christmas. Here's some of the stuff that goes in it. Is this all the it's stuff that you breakable. got? No, oh. it's not. Did you get a lot of it? Yes. She got a bunch of different colors of this. She's getting ready to make something. What are you going to make? What's Don't touch it. It's breakable. I'm not going to break it. Um, What are you going to make, Gabby? That's a lie. I probably will. What are you going to make? Um, I don't know. Anyway, it's, she got it for Christmas. Today's the first day. She's going to try and work it, but everything Gabby does is a bit of a slow process. But I'm going to show you the shelf that she got for her room the other day. All right, so this is her shelf. She decided to put it over here. Funny story about it, though. Sam came in her room and was going to help her build it, and she was going to let him help her build it, but you could tell she just really wanted to do it on her own. So I said, Sam, she wants to do it on her, on her own. And he said, do you want to do it on your own? And she said, yeah, like, I would do it on my own. And then he was so sad, but he left. Let her do it all by herself. So she built it, and she has, like, a lot of books. A ton of books. But they're all downstairs on the shelf. She wants this shelf to all be anime stuff. So she's got, like, all of her anime books. And then she does actually have this book that is not anime, but I think she's using it as, like, a bookend. And then she's got her toothless stuff and she's got some lego anime lego but anyway that's it that's her shelf she's excited to have lots of room to collect and we are doing something in a couple of weeks in a few weeks that she'll be able to buy more stuff to fill up that shelf so it's good that she has a lot of room she used to keep her books over in this little area and i think it's great that she has a, a shelf for them in fact i think that she could probably end up putting a lot of this stuff on their sh on her shelf but look isn't that funny like she has a a Dalmatian and a Border Collie that she had for a long time, long before we got our Border Collies. Isn't that crazy? I feel like God always gives you signs and if you just pay attention and look, you'll see them. So because of that, I'm going to try and give you guys some signs for the next little while so you guys can figure out what 
breed of dog I think I've settled on. So every day for the next week or so, if you see a clue to a breed of dog, comment below what you think I'm gonna get. Did All right. I quit this? <laughs> she already quits it. What happened? It's stupid, that's what. It's stupid. Yeah, so we're not doing that. Well, welcome to spring, you guys. It is mud season already. It is literally disgusting out there. Like, it's it's nice. It's it's warmish. It's still a little bit cool. It's literally like the spring thaw in February. That never happens. Maybe March, never in February. We got this in the mail today. And it is a wide mouth hoof tester. Sam ordered it. I don't know why he got a wide mouth one. Anyway, he ordered it on Amazon and he got it so that if Chino ever gets another abscess, that so we can test him for it. We never bought one before because our horses hardly ever had abscesses. I think, I don't even think Storm had one. I think actually Storm had one once. And then Chino had one once. And then that's it. And then all of a sudden last summer, Chino had like a bunch. And he's been good since. But because of that, we wanted to get one just because it's easier. Oh, the water, the water. Everything is drying up in the arena really well, except for this little area here, which is still underwater. Hi. <laughs> Hello, cuties. Hello, babies. I love it in here with what just the three ponies. The three ponies are so cute. She's mean to me. Why? She's so dirty. She's mean to you because she's dirty? Yes. Willow does not get dirty. She's a good pony, but she also doesn't wears a blanket. Check and make sure they're not too hot underneath there. Oh my god. No, she's perfect. Perfect. Oh, mommy, you know what I just realized? Both my ponies, when we got them, they were unhandled. Yep, both were unhandled. And now they're both handled, but you're gonna have to brush her. She's going to Ruby. Oh yeah, look. Friends. See, that's what all the Oh, she wants a friend. Oh if a horse walks up to Daisy like that, Daisy gets so upset because she can't hear them coming. So she's not like, even though Ruby didn't seem to care that she didn't, uh, Ruby didn't seem to know she was coming either. I don't know. Daisy's just a different breed. There's still a little water in the middle, but it's getting better. Do you guys think like she's growing? I guess she is. From compared to when we got her, she's, gonna go roll she's definitely still bigger. But she doesn't seem to be growing to me. Oh, no. Like she doesn't. I don't come down and be like, oh my gosh, she's at adult size now, and she should be I like. Hope she stays that size. I hope she stays that size too. That's a good size. I doubt she will. Willow's a good size. Oh my goodness. It's scariest. Crash it. Right. Smash it. Look. It's creamy. Smash it. I tried. <laughs> Gabby can skate. No, she, she is not good with she's not good with a 3D oh, yeah, pen. That. I'm but glasses. she can skate. Look at You're gonna make glasses, I think? Works on willingly. Yeah, she's a cutie. No, that one's gonna fall. Don't really go on fall. there. We don't need you on there. <laughs> Yesterday was so much fun on our trail ride. Listen, what was your what was your favorite part about the trail ride yesterday? What was your favorite part? Not dying. Not dying. But what was your favorite part I'm of the trail ride? Her. Did you like when the people came over and were like, hey, can I pet your horse? No. Why? Penny was like, I love all the attention. Penny loved it. I loved it. Chino loved it. Look at this cutie. Did you like when that happened? Yeah. Yeah, that was so much fun they, for me. They fed them treats and they were like, yes. They've never seen horses before, so it was really funny. Um, Honey was really good with halter training. They saw. <laughs> they were there. They it saw her. It was like five minutes and she was holding her. Yeah, she's such a good pony. You should go brush her though and get all the water off. I her. brush her every day. I know, but you should brush her now. She is annoying. <laughs> she's a little annoying. I want to be oh. with you. We just came down to feed lunch. I definitely want to spend time in here and clean up, the, clean up this room. It's almost to that point where it's like spring and warm enough. But I'm gonna take these up to the house and I'm gonna wash them. Typically when you wash wool, you can't put it in a washing machine because it agitates in. Any kind of agitating mats it together so then it's not very good. But the kind of washing machine that I have, you can actually put wool in it because it doesn't have an agitator. So I'm gonna try it and see if I can get it clean better. 
and just washing little bits in, this, in the sink. Really want to try this wool. It doesn't look very nice, but it's so soft. Gabby got a 3D pen for Christmas and she hates it. Sophie loves it. Yeah, it's fun. I'm making glasses. Oh.